everybody. It's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. Hey, it's the last video in the Masterclass on Designer Series paper. And today I've got a really great kind of over the top gatefold card. If you've never created uh, a designer series paper gatefold card, you're gonna love this. Let me show you the three cards we're gonna focus on today. I love the unique look of these cards. They are so much fun. And you can get two of these cards out of just one 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. And it's such a great way to feature both sides of the paper, right? I am excited to show you how to create the cards. We're gonna head over to my stamping table and get to creating. Let's look at the gatefold card in action. Isn't it fun? I love this and as I said, it's showing off both sides of the designer series paper. We love that it's also very sweet um, as it stands up because we know we want our cards to be mantle worthy, right? Well, the gatefold card is going to do that, uh, just that. Let's go over the supplies you need to create the card. Now I'm going to be using uh, the Pansy Petals designer series paper. This is cut five and a quarter by 12 inches. I did do some scoring on on this and let me go over that with you. It's very simple. I scored at two inches and four inches and then I rotated the designer series paper around and scored again at two inches and four inches. I've also got a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's just a quarter sheet um, of an eight and a half by 11. And then some basic white. And I have two pieces of basic white here. This one is three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. Uh, this one is, it is just a scrap. Mine is about two and a half by four inches. And then the last thing we're gonna need is a sweet little ribbon because I think this card just works best if you top it off with something. So I have our Blushing Bride metallic ribbon. Can you see it's satin on one side, but it's metallic on the other? Very pretty. And guys, that is all we are going to need. Well, I fibbed. We are also going to need um, some kind of die, or you could just uh, cut your sentiment. Okay, don't feel like you need to use a die. Of course, I love to use my dies. I'm going to use the stitch so sweetly. And I thought this one was going to be perfect for the front of my card. All right, let's go ahead and create um, our gatefold. I'm gonna bring in some uh, grid paper uh, because it has a grid and I need a grid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my designer series paper right here on the edge and I'm gonna give it a little tick mark at two and a half inches. And then I'm going to flip it over. That is important. You're going to flip it over and you're going to mark again at two and a half inches. And the reason we flip it over is we want to make sure we are centered on both sides because now we're going to bring in our paper trimmer and we're going to just do a little cutting. So I'm going to start here on this one. Can you see there's my tick mark? And here is that four inch score line. So I'm going to line up that four inch score line. I hope that you can see I've got that four inch mark right there in the track. Now I'm going to rotate this until I get that tick mark in the track. I want to cut the tick mark off. So I'm going to go just just a, a hair so that I can see it's going to cut off. So I want that tick mark to the left side of the track. We're going to lay that down and cut number one. Now let's flip this over. There's my other tick mark. And guess what? We're going to repeat this. So there's my four inch mark. Remember we whoop, rotate it down and then we're going to just come just to the left of the other tick mark, get it all lined up, hold on tight to that designer series paper. Don't let it go. And we're going to do our other cut. And now you can see that's what keeps those perfectly centered. That's why we wanted to make sure we flipped that paper over. All right, so the base of our card is done. So now we can decorate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere this designer series paper onto that blushing bride. See how pretty it just kind of gives it a nice backing. And obviously when you adhere that, you're just going to center that up. So there's the base of our card. Guys, if you can accomplish that, 
you can decorate this any way you want. Hey, be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to have some um, additional cards I wanna share with you. Now, we're going to take uh, the um, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. That's going to go right here. And you can see it's hidden when the card is closed. So we're gonna do a little stamping on this. I love this Create with Friends stamp set. And I wanted to create a fun card for my BFF. And so I thought this one where I could say best friends forever and love you was going to be just perfect. Now I went ahead in advance and um, I did stamp my love you. And I did stamp um, on that two and a half by four inches and I stamped my best friends forever. And then I die cut that with the stitch so sweetly. Remember, you can use any of your label dies or you could do a circle or you could just cut this into a square or a rectangle, whatever you wanna do, it really is up to you. So I'm gonna add my love you to the inside of my card. By the way, I stamped that in Blushing Bride and Soft Succulent because that went so well with this Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. Now we're gonna add this here to the inside and make sure I've got that nice and centered. So there I can write my message. We're great there. Now, when it comes time to add our sentiment to the front, I only want to adhere the left side. If you put it on all of it, you just closed up your card and it's not great, right? So I'm gonna give you my little tip for adhering these first. I wanna figure out what the center is, okay? Um, actually, let me go ahead and flip this over because that is what I need to do. We're gonna flip it over, find the center, you know, center it up and see that seam going right down. I wanna stay to the left of that um, seam. And now I flip that over, center it up again. Before I press it down, I'm gonna flip it over just to make sure I don't have any adhesive showing, and I don't, because I could always uh, move it over. But when you know you're good and set, we're gonna give that a press. Now, remember that sweet little bow? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna add that with a mini glue dot. And so for this, I like to just press my bows directly onto a mini glue dot. And look, see, don't you agree? It just needed something right up there at the top. Hey, I'm going to bring in uh, my original card just real quick because I wanted to show you. I also added some of the pastel pearls to um, the ends of my, my um, die cut on that label. Isn't that great? And now I can write uh, Brenda a really great message right here and tell her how much I love her. Now, I did promise you some other cards and I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve for the gatefold card. So here's one that I did. I did the exact same cutting. You've already seen me do it. Um, I'm gonna create a masculine gift card with this one. Now this designer series paper is from uh, Beauty of the Earth. Love this one. And uh, like I said, all my measurements are the same. I have a piece of Bumblebee cardstock. So you've seen me do it once. I'm gonna do it again. Let's adhere this down. Okay, now I've got a piece of basic white cardstock three and three quarters by five. And you know what? We're gonna get creative with these scraps. Um, we're gonna turn this into a gift card holder. I think you're gonna love this. Now I am going to use my mini glue dots to adhere this because my gift card has to slide inside. So I can see the direction. So I need mini glue dots here and here. And I prefer to just press my designer series paper onto the mini glue dot versus trying to pick it up. Now you don't have to go crazy with these. They're, they're pretty strong. Um, and what this is doing is giving me the space that I can um, insert my gift card. So I'm just gonna line this up here on that basic white card sock. This is what's going on the inside. And now this one here, of course, you can see most of it's going to be adhered to this other piece. So I really only need to put uh, glue dots here, just right, right there, because everything else I can just adhere down normally. Feel free to use your glue dots. That's fine, too. It's all good. But here on this side, we do want to add a glue dot here and just for fun, one more right there. 
let's add this, by the way, do you see that hanging off? Don't worry, we're gonna trim that down. No one will ever see that. Lining that up, perfect. We can just snip off these little corners. I'm now going to adhere this to the inside of my card. You know what, I find masculine cards to be the most challenging. And so for that, I love this card. And it's also gonna allow some of that white to kind of peek out up at the top. So let me show you, here's my little Amazon gift card, my hubby's favorite place to shop. Ta-da, do you love that? Oh, and it's hidden. Yes, it is. Now, I made a fun uh, label for this one. Happy birthday, yo goat. I don't know if my husband will appreciate it, but, oh, by the way, this label is from the Tasteful Label Collection. Loved that one. It worked really well with my stamp set, Way to Goat. Oh my gosh, this stamp set, it just makes me giggle. I just love it. I think it's so much fun. Now, I did a little coloring. Uh, here on mine with the crumb cake Stampin' Blends, and I use the combo, the light and the dark, to color in my goat. Now, I want to show you this, that the, the Stampin' Blends, they do bleed through. That's just the nature of um, alcohol-based markers. When you add it to your card, it's very doubtful they'll ever see the other side, but I just wanted you to know, if that really bothers you, you just, the OCD and you will not allow that, you could always cut a second label and adhere them together and put it on your card that way, and then you're good. But you know what? Rich doesn't seem to care. So we're gonna go with just adding that. You remember, we flip it over this way, and now we can add our adhesive down the one side only, adhere it onto our card. Remember, we always wanna check to make sure we don't have any excess hanging off. And you know what? I don't think my husband's gonna appreciate a bow, so we're gonna leave that off of this card, but I can write my little message there, or I could even do a little insert. But there is his favorite place to shop, Amazon. I got one more card to share. Hey, don't forget, you can order all the supplies I used on my cards today. They're at simplysimplestamping.com. And this is my Christmas version. Now for this card, uh, first of all, my, my stamp set on this is Merriest Moments. I just love the thinking of you this festive season. I did simple, very, very simple. Uh, the dies I used on this card are from the seasonal labels dies. Now remember, you could always uh, come in with one of the other ones they would still work. You know, I just like to change things up. Now for this card, you can see it ties here on the side. So that kind of closes it a little bit different. Look at that gorgeous gold ribbon. And when we open this card now, it opens a little bit different. And I want you to notice here, I did not do any cutting. I simply folded my uh, flap down and lined it up with that two inch score line. Can you see, just folded. No cutting, so if that cutting bothers you, this might be just the right tip for you that you could just fold that down. There's a little season's greetings. Oh, this designer series paper is the painted Christmas designer series paper, but I thought that one was just kind of fun, right? Uh, you can see there's my little extra fold, and I just thought it was kind of fun to have something that would just tie here on the side, kind of makes um, your card a little more over the top. You could also just add a gold bow. You guys know, just kind of get creative um, with what you love, what uh, kind of gift giving um, opportunity you have. So if you've got Christmas, if you've got birthday, um, or you just want to tell your best friend that you love her, you have got some fabulous gatefold cards that are going to be just a huge hit. Thanks everyone for being here. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to click that great big red subscribe button so YouTube can let you know when I'm back with a new video. Make it a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.